Survivor Nasima Ben Shamda recalls grabbing a cable and hanging from it for an hour. It saved her, but the rest of her family weren't so lucky. What do you mean? <laughs> I couldn't find anyone. I came back alone. Eight of us had gone, seven didn't come back. I came back alone. Around 200 people were on the suspension bridge when the cables gave way, plunging them some 10 metres into the waters of Machu River. Some of those who fell became stuck in the river's deep silt and weeds. Others were knocked unconscious by the walkway that crashed into the water along with them. Many families are still trying to comprehend what happened. I waited in the hospital until about 4am. One by one, the bodies were brought in. Then I saw my family. God should not show such a day to anyone. The 143-year-old landmark was undergoing repairs for months before being reopened just four days before the collapse. Nine people have been arrested in connection with the incident as investigations continue into the cause. Among those detained, managers of the bridge operator, contractors that had been in charge of repair works and ticketing staff accused of letting too many people on. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who is from Gujarat, has demanded lessons be learned. Local officials claim no certificate declaring the bridge fit for public use had been issued. <laughs> Protesters from as far as the capital, New Delhi, are calling for compensation of $37,000 for all victims, including the injured and the families of those killed. So far, the latter are being offered $11,000. Yvonne Yong, ABC News.